Hi Aquarius, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of January 3rd through January 9th of 2021. So your energy for the week, you have number 11, Cornucopia. So Cornucopia, you can see right away, there is an abundant amount of fruit right here. Um, this is the first time I've drawn this card out of this Oracle deck, but I'm totally getting that whatever seeds you've planted or whatever work you've done, um, your fruits are coming in from that labor now. Your rewards are coming in now. And Aquarius, that is the time that we're in. Now that that great conjunction has happened between Jupiter and Saturn, it is a time of rewards. Um, so it's not too surprised to see that. Let's see, a challenge or obstacle you might face. You have the Page of Pentacles. A lesson or something you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle this week. You have the Five of Pentacles. And then your outcome for the week, you have the Knight of Swords. Wow, Aquarius. Okay, so let's look up. I want to see. Let's see. Number 11, Cornucopia, is about wishes being fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you, and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And spirit is applauding all of your effort. Wow. That is super awesome, Aquarius. So clearly, you have worked really hard for something. I'm feeling like it has something to do with your material things, your job, your career, um, your worth, your finances, that kind of thing. Um, and you are just... That is the reward that the universe, that is the blessings that this great conjunction, that this new energy coming into 2021 is going to bring you. And a page of pinnacles in your challenge or obstacle um, tells me that it's there's a small offer. Um, so I'm feeling like maybe um, you've already started to see some of these blessings come in and maybe it's not the cornucopia um, that you expected. So just remember that as these blessings trickle in at first, it's going to start as a trickle. Um, you'll see one here or there. And then soon in the next few months, you'll start to see those things snowball in. I said that a few weeks ago when we did um, the readings, the guidance weekly reading uh, when, when the Great Conjunction was happening. Um, it just starts going to start to snowball in. So if you are having a challenge or obstacle this week where you only see a little bit, um, just know that that is just the beginning. Um, pages are... Um, they're young, uh, they're very new, they're very, um, it's very immature, it's not quite um, fully um, firm foundation kind of thing. So just understand it's the very beginning. A lesson that you've already learned that's going to help you with that challenge or obstacle, you got the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, it can be about a health situation, um, but the Five of Pentacles is about being left out in the cold. Um, so I feel like with this being in your lessons already learned, you have felt like someone has left you out in the cold. Um, you have felt like maybe you had to take care of things yourself um, and you couldn't, there was someone you couldn't rely on. So that is what the Five of Pentacles is. So I feel like with this saying, it's a lesson you've already learned and that means you've already had to bring yourself in from out in the cold, right? Um, so that is what's going to help you be able to understand that this is just the beginning of these blessings starting to come in. By the end of this week, you're going to have this cornucopia feeling because you have the Knight of Swords as your um, outcome for the week. And the Knight of Swords, of course, is all about action. He comes in very quickly. It's about a very fast uh, lifestyle changes, something just very, very fast. So that is the outcome for the week. So whatever you've been wishing for, Aquarius, it now is clearly uh, the time. I want to look a couple, see if we can pull a couple angel answers um, just to give us a little bit more guidance for the week. I'm going to do two of them and we'll see what more guidance we can get. All right, so you have Ask Your Angels. I believe you had that last week, so make sure you're praying. Uh, make sure you're talking to your angels and your passed on loved one, anyone that could be guiding you um, through this journey. 
and you have opportunity. So some sort of opportunity is going to come in very quickly at the end of this week, Aquarius. Uh, just so make sure you're keeping an eye out for that um, because that is something that the universe is sending you and that I feel like that's something you very much don't want to miss. I do want to pull one Moonology Oracle. Um, these messages come from the universe and these help with our emotions. Um, the moon is very much controls um, our, our emotions and how we feel. Um, and we do have that new moon in Capricorn coming in on January 13th. Um, and that new moon is going to bring in all of these new energies from all these new blessings that have been coming in. You have a time for healing. So yes, Aquarius, that is what everybody is doing. And I feel like you're going to be able to heal um, much easier and much quicker um, just because this change, this action is happening so quickly here at the end of this week that's going to bring you um, this bounty of abundance. All right, Aquarius, I feel like that is your guidance for the week. You're going to have an amazing week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.